Hey Taurus, welcome or welcome back to my channel. This is going to be your reading um, for the person that you're connecting to that maybe you're at a distance with. Maybe there's been some sort of interruption in the relationship. Um, this is for really those of you that don't have that uh, consistent communication um, and you're just wondering what's going on with that person. This is that reading. So um, let's just see what is going on with them, what they want to tell you or wish they could tell you. Um, and if you like this type of reading, let me know and I would love to do more of these. But let's just jump right in. All right, so we have the King of Wands at the bottom of the deck. So whoever you are um, thinking about connecting to, Taurus, I feel like they may, they may be someone that is trying to do too much um, at this time. It feels like they've loaded their plate with so many things that they don't have as much time for you as they would want to, or maybe you're perceiving that, right? You're kind of saying, well, you know, you say you want to do this, but you have so much on your plate that you're not making me a priority or making any kind of sacrifices to, um, you know, help the relationship. So I feel like they just, they definitely have too much going on. That King of Wands could also represent that maybe this person has that uh, desire to, you know, accomplish a lot of things um, at one time as well. It's almost like they are uh, maybe the type of person that has a great heart and they're very determined to get things done, but they don't know how to establish boundaries or say no to certain things or commitments, right? They're always just saying yes. And so they have a bunch of things um, happening all the time and you're just like, where where do I fit in this, right? So that's kind of what I'm getting here. We have the Seven of Wands, the Queen of Wands, and the Ten of Swords. So that Ten of Swords really is alluding to the devastation of it all because I really feel like there is potential in this relationship, I mean, truly, there is so much potential. Um, of course, we have the King of Wands and then the Queen of Wands. That's that perfect. Oh, sorry. Queen of Cups. Sorry. Um, but it's okay because they're still a pretty good match. I'd like the water um, and fire combo there. But it really feels like there's, you know, love here. I mean, that Queen of Cups is, um, it feels like she's waiting for this person, you know, or there or he's waiting for the Queen of Cups, right? Maybe you um, identify with one or the other. Um, but overall, I feel like there's passion and there's emotion. And I think that's what really these two represent. There's passion and emotion, but there doesn't seem to be enough time or opportunity to do anything, right? And so I feel like the Seven of Wands could be um, that you're starting to recognize that and you're kind of on this uh, very confusing um you know, kind of place where you don't know if you should wait for this person. Should you give them some time to fit you into their schedule, right? Should you uh, move on, right? You're, maybe you're contemplating changing your, your mind about what you really want to do in this situation because I feel like you're realizing, you know, I'm not a second choice, right? I, I deserve um, to be prioritized if this is real, right? It's kind of like you're taking everything for what it is and asking yourself, you know, if they if they really wanted to, would they? Um, maybe for some of you, this is about the fact that someone is acting very differently than how they normally do. And so now you're trying to understand where that's coming from. But overall, I feel like there's something that is kind of making this difficult for the two of you that's coming from their side, whether it be that they have too much going on, too much work, maybe they're stressed out. The Ten of Swords could also represent maybe there's a um, something happening to them personally and they just can't really... Um, deal with it, you know, and so it's becoming a barrier uh, between you and them. Let's go ahead, though, and clarify that Seven of Wands, because I can't tell the Seven of Wands is you, you know, needing to kind of like protect your energy and build that wall um, in order to maybe take some time to process this, or if this is them being defensive and saying, what are you talking about? I am making time for you, right? Because sometimes people do that. Um, so I wonder, All right, so we have the Knight of Wands. So I feel like the Knight of Wands is representing that, again, there is a desire for movement. There is a desire for something to work out here. Um, but it feels like there's too many things in the way. It feels like there's a path that has the potential to be cleared, right? And it's it's a really good one. But there's there's right now there's a lot of stuff in the way. There's all kinds of obstacles and, um, you know, roadblocks. And I feel like that's kind of making this harder than it has to be. Um, it's almost like you maybe are thinking, you know, if it wasn't for this thing, uh, we would probably be on a trip 
or we'd be married or we'd have this or that, right? Like you're thinking maybe about the alternative scenarios um, and that could be very painful to know that there's potential for that to happen and yet it's not because of something um, circumstantial such as this. So we have the Ace of Swords, the Eight of Swords and the Page of Swords. That's a lot of swords. That's a lot of, uh, you know, tension, frustration, communication needing to, to happen in order to work out. And then, in fact, there being the opposite of that, someone is closing in. This Eight of Swords is like someone is kind of staying within their shell um, because maybe they are not ready to let go of some of the things they have to let go of in order to make time, right? Maybe they feel compromised. Uh, maybe they feel restricted. You know, and so I feel like the Ace of Swords is actually a call to action for you, Taurus, to maybe ask yourself, you know, um, I need to be honest with me about what I feel and if I want to do something about this. You know, it just feels like this is basically the universe's way of saying you have to uh, look within and ask yourself um, if you are okay with this. Because if you're not, then I think you deserve the opportunity to make some changes. I feel like the Page of Swords could also be about you needing that extra information before you do anything, right? So I feel like the Page of Swords could be you saying, hey, let's just talk. Let's just meet up. Let's talk about it. Let's just see what we can do. And I feel like that is what's going to create the momentum and that change moving forward. And I think that's what that Knight of Wands is saying here. It's like, things are going to move forward but these are the steps that need to that need to happen right these this is what we need to do we need to stop being um you know closed in we need to let someone in here we need to be honest about what's going on be transparent be very clear and then we need to just really talk about and and get down to the root of the problem um because maybe you're dealing with somebody here that also has just a trouble communicating in general and so maybe the foundation of it all has been rocky from the start Right? So there's a lot of things that could be going on. Let's go ahead and clarify the Queen of Cups. All right, we have the world at the bottom of the deck. And I am just overwhelmed because the cards that just came through to clarify that Queen of Cups is serious. So we have the world. I think that this is alluding to the fact that there is potential and there's going to be something that proves how much potential there is. Um, I'm not sure. I and of course, my watch thinks that I'm talking to it. Um, I'm not sure if you have an Apple watch, but when it thinks you're talking to it, it's like, I'm, I'm, I don't really understand what you said. Anyway, I'm being distracted. So the world is representing that new chapter, that new journey that's going to happen here in the near future once this gets resolved. So for those of you that maybe have been wondering, is this ever going to move forward? Are we ever going to get it right? You are going to get it right because this world confirms it. And we also have the two of cups, the death, which is Scorpio and temperance, which is Sagittarius. I really like the two of cups coming through because not only does it kind of confirm that there's potential and that there's love and all the things that I mentioned, but it also just shows the fact that these are two flowers um, that are growing in each other's cup. I don't know if you can see it, but one flower is in that cup and the other is in that one. And so they're not really, um, you know, they, they're not straight. They're kind of like this. And so I interpret that as you're actually going to be getting a lot from each other but it feels differently right now because you're filling up your own cups as individuals. And then when you're ready to, you know, merge and make this work, it's like you start to really um, learn from each other. And maybe this experience is the beginning of that. And the temperance is about the time that has been spent, you know, maybe in this process. And the fact that when this new journey does begin and when this new chapter because that's really what it is. It's a new chapter to the story. Once it begins, you'll realize at that time that that past could have made it worth it after all. Or maybe, yeah, this could have made the time worth it, um, rather. The death card is that rebirth. Um, it could also be maybe that you're connecting to a Scorpio. But honestly, Taurus, I feel like this situation is going to change drastically. Um, and it's not going to be the same way that it was in the beginning. But it's certainly not going to look how you expect it to because what your person is dealing with or what you're dealing with is not something that has a name. You know, it's something that's constantly changing, constantly evolving. But only when you talk about it, do you get to really describe what's going on. And then you both have that understanding. And then you can make a plan for how that chapter is going to start. So really love this for you. Hope that it was helpful. And if you like this reading and it resonated, please give it a like, please subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.